<coughs> Hello, welcome everybody. So, um, in this video, I wanted to do a very, um, well, I want it to be quick. I don't know exactly how quick it's going to be, but I wanted to do um, just a little quick tutorial on how to do squaring. Um, I was on a call with a student, one of the students who um, got into the uh, basic pattern set um, course that I have um, and they were we were on the phone doing a help call or whatever a little video chat thing and um, basically through the call I just um, we noticed that squaring was kind of a sticking point for them and so I wanted to do this quick video because I was like well maybe there's some other people who are having problems with squaring and making 90 degree angles um, and it's really simple but just the concept altogether can be confusing when you're just when you're squaring off of brand new lines and you're creating your own lines and then squaring from that um, because if you do any pattern making um, you'll see in the directions um, that it's going to say square from this line or make this line and then square out from it and yada 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 whatever so I'm gonna try to give you some demonstrations here and really kinda describe what we mean so basically the first thing um, I want to talk about is what is squaring <clears throat> um, you know what a square is and it's basically a shape that has four right angles so four 90 degree angles and four equal sides. Each of the sides is equal to each other. Okay? So if this side is four inches long, this side is also four inches long, and that side and that side, okay? So, let me take these little marks off. So basically, when we're squaring, or when, when you're following some pattern making instructions and it says square from something, it basically means to take whatever line you're looking at and to make a line that's perfectly perpendicular to it. What is perpendicular? Perpendicular is basically when you take something and you make it um, intersect at a right angle. So if we take this and we just look at angles themselves rather than a square shape, um, if we make like an X shape, um, each one of these, if they're perfectly perpendicular, is going to be 90 degree angles 90 degree 90 degree 90 degree cool so I'm kinda of going off on a tangent here but usually when they tell you to square a line out from something they're basically telling you to make a line intersect it perpendicularly if that makes sense okay so let me do a clearer example so basically one of the tools that we use in pattern making, and I think they use it in some of the other, um, I don't, not arts or sciences, but some of the other fields of study that have to do with math and drafting and stuff, like architecture, um, they use these squaring rulers, okay? And they come in a lot of different sizes and different constructions and shapes and stuff. Um, this is the one I'm going to use um, for what we're doing. Um, and I actually made a paper version of it so that way it won't make a lot of noise on this board and be super distracting. So I'm going to erase this and now let's start on the next part of this video. So basically, okay, so how to square successfully. One of the first ways if you're brand new, brand new beginning um, you're still trying to grasp exactly what it is to square a line out from another line. It's best to start with a square ruler. This is going to save you so much confusion. Um, just have this first, and then you can start squaring successfully. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Hold on, let me move this big yardstick out of the way. Okay. So the first thing you need to do, or the first thing we're going to do, is just practice drawing a brand new 90 degree angle. Just starting with nothing, we're going to do a 90 degree, degree angle. Now this camera could be kind of 
at a funny angle come into this board so it might not look like it's square to you uh, but I promise you it is so if we need to draw a brand new 90 degree angle first thing we need to do is just put our square down and we're really just going to follow the edge and then that's the first way now already you have a 90 degree angle automatically because the edge of this ruler and even this inner side of the ruler it's already at a perfect 90 degree angle okay and you know what angles are angles are basically any corner that you look at um, you know and a lot of times you'll see in geometry they'll have these little crazy things to say or I'm not gonna put that degree sign in there but they'll have these to the, and they'll be like what well, find the measurement of this angle or whatever so <laughs> try not to confuse you too much I'm giving a lot of extra information okay anyway so that's how you do a 90 degree angle just from nowhere it's not dependent on any of the context around it or any other thing if I just want to create a new 90 degree angle in thin air on a blank piece of paper that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put my square down so it doesn't matter if my square is facing this way I can still make a 90 degree angle it doesn't matter if the legs on the angle are long or short um, or two different lengths either way it's still 90 degrees because the 90 degrees is basically saying okay when I start with this line how wide is the space before we see the next line okay so if I do this it's going to be a smaller angle than if I do this you see what I'm saying so this is a bigger angle than the one we just previously drew which was like this okay can you see that and then this it almost looks like it's 90 degree but it's not it's still a slightly bigger angle than that even though they look very similar okay and then those are what you call acute angles which are angles that are smaller than 90 degrees then once your line gets further than 90 degrees now we start to have obtuse angles okay and then a straight line is basically 180 degrees okay but we don't want a straight line we want a straight line well not a straight line we want a perpendicular line so both of these angles are now 90 degrees because I drew a line that was perfectly perpendicular to my straight line so that's what that was okay now a 90 degree angle does not just happen on corners um, where the lines don't continue to follow through their intersections so that means that you can also have just like I showed you a second ago a line like this that's more like a t-shape which is what I just drew also a couple seconds ago okay but this t-shape also has two 90 degree angles in here now how do we know they're 90 degree angles well one way that you can find this out is by taking a compass and actually measuring how wide the angle is the other way you can do that is by taking your square ruler and making sure that both of the lines line up with both of the sides of the ruler you see now if we had a, um, an angle like this even though I can look at that and tell it's not a square um, or what am I trying to say it's not a right angle I can still do this just to check so one of the lines of course is going to be the same as the side but this line goes right into the side of that ruler and so that's one easy way we can tell that's not square okay so I showed you that now So remember the very first thing we talked about was what is squaring. Okay, squaring is basically when you take one line, 
and then you make another line that's perfectly perpendicular to it. Did I do that? That's pretty awesome. Anyway, <laughs> so you take another line and you make it perpendicular to it. So that's what they mean when they say square out from whatever, okay? And you're basically creating a 90 degree angle, okay? Now, we can create a brand new 90 degree angle anywhere on a blank sheet of paper just by taking this and no matter which way this is facing, this angle still measures 90 degrees, okay? Okay. So if I'm facing it down like this, I still have a 90 degree angle in here, okay? So from here to there, it equals 90 degrees. And that's what makes a right angle. Okay. Now the next thing is, let's see how we use a previous line to make um, our square. And we actually just did that a second ago. So if we wanted to make a line like this, and we wanted to say, okay, at the top of this line, we need to square out to the left. Okay, so I'm going to line my ruler up with the line that we had previously and then I need to square out to the left so I need to make this ruler go out to the left okay at the same time that it's lining up with the previous line Then I'll take this and go out like that and now we have a line that is perfectly squared from the previous line okay cool now it's the same thing as if our line was made like this So this is the line that we started with, and we say we need to square out to the left at the very top of the line, and we can still line this up. And draw that line out. So now we still have a squared line that's coming out from the previous line. Okay, And we can do the same thing on the bottom. If we needed to square a line out to the left, at the bottom of this line, we just line our ruler up with this main line, and then uh -oh. make sure if this ever moves, make sure you put it straight again. Okay, move my arm so y'all can see. Just line this up with the bottom or with the previous line, and then on the bottom. You're going to draw your line out to the left. There we go. And the marker kind of skipped a little bit. but Now we can even do this coming from the next line or these other lines that we drew. If we needed to square a line down. Just make that darker. Okay, so we're going to line the ruler up, one side of the ruler up with our previous line. And then where our 90 degree angle is, I'm going to draw another line. Cool. Now up here if they were saying okay this is your first line and let's square a line out to the right it's the same thing. Line your ruler up with your previous line and then you're going to square out to the right. Cool. And that's how you make your 90 degree angles on your squares. Or <clears throat> or that's what it means when it's saying square out from something. Now, the third example I'm going to show you is, okay, let's start with a line, and we're going to mark here. We're going to say that's point A, okay? So from point A, we need to square out three inches to the left, and then five inches to the right, okay? Now this line isn't perfectly straight, and in some of your pattern making things, it's not going to be perfectly straight. In this one, we're going to do something perfectly straight, though. And then I'll show you a second example with it not so straight. Okay. Now, so we need to square out from point A to the left three inches, so I do have inches marked on this ruler. So three inches is there. 
So I marked where three inches is first. And then I'm gonna square back to that line to where A is. Okay. Alrighty. Now, if I had to square out five inches to the right, I could do that also. So we're gonna come back to A and we're gonna square out five inches to the right and we're gonna put that here. I'll mark my five inches over there. Then we're gonna square out to the right. Cool. Okay, now if it told me to, on that next line, we're gonna mark C here and maybe it says square a line up two inches from C so we're gonna square up two inches from C so we're gonna make this side of the ruler flat with our previous line and then what do we say two inches from C so I'll mark my two inches and there now I've made a line that's square two inches from C okay and it doesn't matter which way these lines are facing or pointing initially you can always square a line from it so let's do an example with a curved line so let's say you got something crazy going like this like this squiggle and your direction say okay let's say this is the bottom of the squiggle we're going to come up three inches and then square a line out to the right okay so we're going to come up three inches so I'm going to measure three inches up on my curve let's see we got inch one at the bottom two there three there okay so now this is three inches up on my or that's two inches I'm sorry three inches let's measure up one more inch okay so we mark that three inches up on the curve then we're going to square a line out one inch to the right so what you're going to do you're going to get as much of this curve right near that point that you need to use you're going to get as much of that curve flat against your ruler and then you're going to come over one inch because that's what the directions might be telling you to do you marked it and now you're going to square your line back Okay. and then we're going to come up four more inches so let's say that's what the directions are telling us now I like to kind of mark my inches so I don't have to measure them too many times two three okay so one two three four so now we've come up four more inches and we need to square a line down uh, let's say three inches so once again we're gonna this point here this angle this corner it's what's important about the squaring so when you only have a little bit of straight line that you can use that's what you're going to use at very end because that's where you're going to square from or that's what you're going to use to make your square so we're going to square down I think I said three inches so mark my three inches and then draw my line down okay so sorry this video ended up almost 20 minutes long but <laughs> I basically wanted to get that out and I hope that helps a lot of you um, in your pattern making especially with those directions because sometimes it can be confusing um, squaring is one of those things that might be really easy for you to catch on to or it might not be um, but at least now hopefully this will help you um, when you're making your pattern so anyway talk to you later if you have any questions leave them down in the um, comments below um, and this is the type of stuff that we talk about on my newsletter sometimes um, and you can see a link to that in my YouTube description. Okay. Talk to you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.